Hey everyone, it is Andrea and today I am coming at you with a plan with me. As of right now I'm talking through this, will it will it come to fruition with me talking through it and me uploading it this way? Who actually knows? But this is going to be for the Holly Jolly kit. I didn't even do my little like flat lay setup. But basically I was just in the mood to chit chat. I'm talking a little bit quieter because it is like 6 o'clock in the morning. But this week was the week of Christmas. This was actually my least favorite Christmas ever because I was sick. It was like just a tragic situation because for me, Christmas is my favorite stinking time of the year and especially like Christmas Day. It's like I feel like I work so hard to make sure everything's perfect and have like this great plan. And then I got food poisoning. So, what I'm thinking about doing is, since I had food poisoning on Christmas, and I spent most of Christmas Day either um, puking, thinking about puking, trying to sleep, I am considering moving the 26th, which was my actual Christmas, like where we actually did like Christmas dinner and stuff, to this week. And doing the like no sidebar situation. I have so much stuff for this week. I don't even remember pulling this much stuff. Apparently, I did. I didn't know which underlays I wanted to use. I don't know. There's too many options. Oh my god, look at all this stuff I pulled. This is stressful. Okay. So let me go ahead and take my little thumbnail picture. I always take my thumbnail picture on my phone because it doesn't need to be any better quality than that. Okay, she's done. So, yeah, this week was a real tragedy and crapshoot. So as for foil, I've seen so many people use red with this, so I kind of want to use red with it. I don't need the tall boxes because there's literally not a tall box in this kit. Do I want to use it? I kind of want to use the underlays. Maybe with bougie. I don't know if I want to use like red scripts and icons though. Let me see. I think I just want to use the underlays as a pop. So I think I'm going to skip using these because I don't think these paired with these would be a vibe. I think I'm going to just use the regular bougie that come in this kit. And then we'll leave this out. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Question mark. Um, yeah. So like I said, this week I wanna do so let me kind of write a note on here. So Monday is a three box day. So then there's a lot of three box days on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So we're gonna skip the sidebar, see how it goes. I think since the Monday is also a three. I'm going to do it like I did. Probably going to reference it. So maybe I should put like a sticky note. Like this with a long one on the side. I don't know if I have enough. Oh yeah, I do have enough underlays because I prepared. So let me grab a sticky note. Use one of these Dumbledore ones so I could remember exactly what I did here. And flip back and forth. So let's start with this side first. We'll start with the bottom washi. And I'm using the, I don't think I pulled out any more bottom. Oh, I need to pull out this from City Stickers from like a bazillion years ago. I pulled out the Twinkle Foil Bundle, which I am going to be redoing the Twinkle Foil Bundle. It's not going to be for a while. So like if you need some, I would pick up the current because what will mostly be changed. I'm going to like, I might tidy up the Twinkle. I don't know, but I really like how, yeah, I might tidy it up a little and do Twinkle underlays. And then there's like a new icon page. Um, there's new scripts and then I also have like a new icons coming and that'll be I don't remember what I don't think there's any like core foil bundles I don't really like this though. I know I know a lot of people like it and I did like it at a time <clears throat> Do I oh I'm just gonna use the This I think I liked it at a time But I think I'm just like over it, but what are you talking about? So there's a new icons page because I have some new mini icons coming that I had custom commissioned. And I'm going to add those to the Once More With Love ones on that page. It's going to be really cute. But I don't remember what foil bundle because I have a lot of like specialty foil bundles coming. Mostly for mysteries and then they'll come to shop. And then for a year, is it 
eight year or nine year? I don't remember. Whatever year this year is. It also has a specialty foil bundle. I wasn't going to do a specialty foil bundle, but then Kitten Chess was kind of like, it needs to happen. I did this wrong. Oops. This is what happens when I chit chat. Is I just actually I mess up no matter regardless because it's just the way my life goes. Um. But Jess was like, no, it needs to happen. And I was like, I guess I guess it can happen. It's a really cute bundle. It's a little bit more niche of a bundle. Um, the kit itself is not, I don't think, too niche. I think a lot of people are going to really like it. Because it's kind of like a play on, like a theme that I've done a bunch, I feel like, recently. Both parts of the theme. But also, I feel like I'm not bored of it. So, I'm very excited for it. Um, but I'm trying to think, was there any foil bundles that... I have Star ready to order. I'm going to order that in February. Finalize that order because I don't see if I'm going to add anything else to it. And then I want to redo Twinkle. But yeah, it's not going to be changed from this like that much. Whereas I feel like, oh, I ordered, no, yeah, Star. Star is on the next order, but Star is, um... Star is, is, is changed a, a bit enough, I think, for the good, I feel. I did end up putting the bow with it. I did, like, a poll on Instagram if I should do the bow or do stars. And I kind of went back and forth on it. It was actually Kane who s suggested it. And I kind of, like, was like, I don't know. But then when I put the bow with it, I was like, yeah, I actually kind of do like that because I feel like... Unless you're using it with a celestial super starry kit, I feel like the stars look nice with like the bow. Like I feel like it just kind of calms it down. <clears throat> like this twinkle, I wouldn't want big twinkle pieces in here. So I'm thinking for, probably need to pull out some more gold bougie though. Um, yeah, so this is going to be an intense one because I also have a lot of stuff to put in. Let me check and see what Monday looks like. So, I feel like I could probably do Monday without an extender over here if I just do bougies. So, that would leave me with extenders here. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine boxes. I don't know why. Oh, there's babies. I might just end up using the. Maybe I'll use the baby box and the, the, the baby clothes and the kid. And then. We'll need that freebie sheet. We have this page and this page with boxes. I feel like I could be satisfied with that. So let's do that. So we're going to go ahead and just start with Sunday. So I'm doing this, like I said, because I... What did I want to do? Top of day. Yes. Um... Because the 26th, so next week is going to be my New Year's spread, which I haven't decided yet still if I want to do that um, in my, I'm trying to think. If I, I'm not doing a box over here, I'm going to do the boxes up here, and then here I could do the boxes, let's say. Do I want to do them on the bottom, maybe to balance that out more? Let's do that. Am I going to color block? What am I doing with myself on this one? Let's see, where are the... I could color block. I don't think I want to color block though. So red, 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 tan, green. What was I talking about? So I haven't decided if I want to put my New Year's spread in here or my other planner, but technically then that Christmas day would be on my New Year's spread, which I'm just not totally vibing with a little long i think i might trim that i forgot that these are a teeny bit long these city stickers ones um see i haven't figured that out what i wanted to do yet i still have obviously a little bit of time i just i kind i want my last year's my i want my next year's planner to have new year's eve in it i mean not year's eve yeah, New Year's Eve. New Year's Day in it, I guess, is better. But I 
it's like the end of the year i just don't know <clears throat> my friend amanda had a kind of cute idea in my opinion and she is going to be well i don't think she's really planning anymore but whenever she was she was going to do her planners based on the years like so her first week in her planner was her birthday and i think that that's really cute um that could be like an idea i don't think i think i'm too deep <laughs> but if you're just starting planning that could be a cute year as well if you're like i want to start planning but i don't want to start on the new year or on the academic year i feel like that could be an option is to start on your birthday unless your birthday is also really close to both of those that it's like well, it doesn't really help you that much but i think this spread's gonna turn out really cute so i'm doing the gold bougie boxes with the red lights over top of it i think that's gonna be very very cute i feel like just christmas came and went you know you know oops this one held on for dear life there but i feel like it still feels like christmas because i feel like the shop has been so stinking busy and obviously super grateful where is my blah 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 is my here they are i have literally this teeny tiny sheet of extender left it's been so busy though i'm just not used to it because usually january is like very slow but i almost feel like this was any other day a three no i feel like this um i feel like this january kind of like the after the christmas season after christmas kit season so december and january was almost busier than christmas like kit season which is just so bizarre but also i guess with the popularity of like back planning maybe like everyone kind of waited to get everything till after christmas which i kind of feel like that's not a bad idea put this down so i put those extender pieces down i have the sticky side up so that whenever i'm ready to put down i finished a page of booty boxes when i'm ready to put down extenders they will be there in the boxes so i have a little bit more time to decide though i know i'm going to use the double box there obviously i just don't know what i want to put under it so i guess i could put we'll just wait to put those down we know they're going there so here i'm gonna do what i did last time Let's see and i just like extended the bougie and then you can see i have this little thing kind of covering up the seam so to do that, I'm just going to line it up with the bottom of my bottom washi and then place it lined up with that. And there is a little overlap. I am going to cut it just because I don't want it to look wild. I'm going to have to do the same thing with the um, Planahanna underlay, but it's all going to be good. Just gonna slice that this should be really easy to peel up and now i have that i was actually thinking uh hold on maybe i should figure out what boxes i want to use okay <clears throat> so i'm fine with not using the fashion they're really cute but i think because i'm using the fashion kids if i have to nix any boxes it's going to be the fashion boxes i for sure want to use the kid box I think that that's cute and then also would be cool to use the like baby clothes box this is actually I think this like onesies from I think lullaby maybe and I recolored it with just like the pattern on top I thought that'd be a cute addition just because I had an extra box there and then beyond that I don't really have like I'm not like I need to use any of these I kind of want to use this box if any um let me put this like down here so i can because if i use any of the fashion i want to use the other one because i think she's so cute and this is a recolor from friendsgiving i believe i just put like the green pattern on her outfit um mm, so i think for the for this um situation here i am gonna just go ahead and put it down so basically this is like a cut extender if you want me to do an extra extender video where i do this i think i might have i don't remember honestly i just do so many videos so this is like not sticky on this side so i could have had this in here for a while so basically i just lift this up 
and then I turn this upside down and I just stick it as close as I want to the underlay and then I just place it on top. Do the same thing. And I'm just like lifting that on my finger and if it sticks, you could just unstick it. Line it up and slap it down. So I kind of like the idea of doing like, un like uh, flat lays under here. So let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven boxes I can lay down. And right now I have six on this page. So I think my seventh one, I'm gonna do the presents. There's like, these are all really good boxes though. Like even like, like all of them. <laughs> Just wanna use all of them. So I'm gonna do that. I'm probably not gonna use these boxes then. Which like, kinda sad about, but also not. I'm just gonna put this one because this page is going to be empty. I love, like, the new format, and my favorite things about it is that, like, this page gets used up, and then for me especially, I feel like most of the items that I want to use are on these four pages, and I feel like it's so nice. Like, I feel like the last format, I always had, like, seven pages sitting around me with, like, different stuff on it, but I feel like this is just so simple. Like, you have your rounded boxes, which I freaking love, and then you have your little things, and then you have like labels and solid powder. Like, I don't know. I just feel like this organization is like god tier. I rarely ever use this page. This is just kind of like stuff that like some people still use. So I've like just kept. And then like I don't really use deco besides like on the top a little bit. So this one I don't ever have to keep. And then I usually use up this page and then this page. So that's like it. It's a really beautiful, beautiful situation. And also the doodles. I also have something else I'm doing as an add-on soon. And I am excited. So let us see, let us see, let us see. So I can use all of these. So I'm gonna do two flat lays underneath. See, I this one's my least favorite, so I'm for sure gonna put that up there of the flat lays. It's not like my least favorite ever, it's just my least favorite, favorite of the three. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick her there right away. And then these two I struggle with because I love the baby box, but I also love food. I think I'm gonna do the baby box because food prevails. Sorry, Miss La. It's La's second Christmas. She was so into it this year. She's such a cutie. And I'm going to put down all of the Planet Hannah underlays last, just so it's all done at the same time. And then I have these left. So I have one flat lay. I'm going to save that for over here for sure to break up the flat lays. I think I'm going to do the kiddo. Actually, the kiddo might be cute. I kind of want to have the box up here, though, to kind of mimic it being a sidebar and then have this stuff underneath it because this is gonna be like a this is gonna be monday so i kind of want to put that over there but otherwise let's actually just start there so that i am not losing my mind i don't need this little sliver so i'm just gonna stick it here but yeah let's start here just so that we are all on the same page and this i'm gonna line up here and then with this bottom line as as best as possible because I feel like without lines, I'm a little, a little bit of a lost cause. So this is red, brown, green, and nude. <clears throat> I hope I have enough underlays. Or I might just have to pause this. I'm like Hannah, please make me some underlays. Here we go. Perfect. And then if this is nude. This would be green and that would be green. Hopefully, we will see. And then this is going to go here to mimic that sidebar action. And then I believe it's then, yeah, that would line up this one. The little side is so sticky on this page. Oh, and then I can't use the... I can't even use these because I would need two Mondays. So I'm going to use, do what I did last time. So actually I might use the deco because I did that last time as well. I'll show you the example. Um, these, hopefully I do have a gold. And I'm probably not going to put December, but I think that that is okay for me. I just have little tab stickers at work I'm considering grabbing. 
Um, so I'm not going to use these, which is sad, but I'm going to use these. And then I wonder if I have any red date numbers. Oh, I do, I do, I do, I do. So I actually just, they're sparkly red. Oh, this is sparkly red, which is fine. Normally I'm not like, I don't know, because I feel like a little bit of like a, I feel a little not obnoxious in my, I don't like using two different textured foils together, but also I feel like I made the um, choice to do champagne lights and gold together, and that is fairly popular. So I should kind of get a grip on that one. So I have this because I just did a mock thread. Let me show you that. So I used the sparkly red. Oh, these new foil bundles with the matching underlays are so cute. Let me show you. This is my like mock spread. <gasps> Look at her. Look at her with the sparkly red. Let me give you the full, the full Monty here. Look at that. It's so pretty. This is the little Valentine with the sparkly red confetti bundle and the Valentine's underlays. It is so pretty. But yeah, I used this foil bundle and I was like, well, I don't need, which I actually should save these then. So I don't need the rest of the date numbers. But I feel like if I didn't use um, red, I'd probably want to use black. Because I feel like I don't want to use gold and gold. I want the dates to kind of pop. So this is actually 019 that it works out. And I actually picked like random um, random numbers. These are so pretty. I might have to grab more of these. I might actually, maybe I'll, I don't have them in like fun foils or black. Maybe I should order them in, not fun foils in particular, but like my fun core. So like matte bronze, lavender hollow, champagne lights. Because... I kind of feel like these are a vibe. I remember when I first came out with them, the reason why I didn't end up using them that much is the planners that I was using, the paper wasn't the same kind of color of white. So I feel like they really stuck out, like the Aura Stell inserts, like any inserts. Um, I'm trying to think of who else is. They're like, just the color isn't, it's not a bright white, it's more of a cool toned white, which like works, it all works. I'm going to put that over there because I might save those. Oh my gosh, look how pretty that looks. But I feel like it would just bother me, so I didn't end up using them a lot when I first brought them out. But now I'm like obsessed, and I kind of want to use them. Let me show you it. Look how fun that looks. It does look really cute, I think, with the um, deco on top because they're white, so I feel like it leaves you a lot of room for the deco. I think I have them on my list to bring out in black, um, like on this matte paper. Ugh, maybe I'll just bring them out like on glossy. Let me know what y'all think. Like, should I do that? And then maybe bring them out in fun core if we make it make it happen. But I just feel like it looks so good. And like, especially if you're a deco user, like I think this is a actual vibe. Ugh, it makes me so happy. I think maybe after this spread, maybe I'm just going to be like converted because it just looks so freaking pretty like it even would look good if i didn't have the red doing black with those i think would have been so nice but i also feel like if i bring these out like literally the same exact thing in black like putting foils with these would be so pretty it also give you the flexibility of the different dates for these kits that you're like using i don't know <clears throat> i'm kind of sold beyond the idea already but then i want to do let me mark this down so i have flexibility of where i can put this here because so what I do whenever I'm laying my boxes down is I, let's say for instance, this is here, I wouldn't want to put boxes here. I kind of want to space it out and kind of balance the boxes. So either want to put it here or here, preferably here because I feel like that's the ultimate balance, but I'm okay with here as well. And then since I want to have this here to make it look like that faux sidebar kind of energy, I could do this or actually probably be that, but I just feel like that's too close to that. So I feel like maybe here, here here and here i feel like that would be the most balanced yeah because here 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 be close here it's kind of the same so we're gonna do here wait what did i say here 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 and here okay let's do that and I think because the flat lay's here, I'm going to put the flat lay down here. Or should I put it in the middle? I think I might put, put it in the middle. So let's do that first before I forget and lose my mind. 
But honestly, I like kind of get a little, not, not, not obsessive, but I get a little, I think I care more about my boxes than I need to because realistically, I feel like you, would, like, you need to try it sometime. It's just kind of put your boxes down wherever and don't think about it. Like maybe think about maybe like splitting up the fashion people or splitting up the flat lays. But other than that, put them wherever. And I feel like whenever you fill up your spread, if you plan like me with the like there's stuff everywhere, I feel like it really doesn't matter too much. As much as I think at least. Because everything, like even the, like these look like it just, it all just looks filled. So I don't think it really matters too much. Where Like the arrangement of boxes, I just think I'm annoying in particular also i've had these nail strips on for about 600 years at this point like let me show you how grown out this is look at that she's been on there for forever but i feel like it doesn't look bad like i mean whenever i'm doing this you're like okay andrea you need to change them but i mean otherwise i feel like it's not what i want to do here I feel like it's not wild like especially these ones because they're like they're a gradient they're not like full glitter they're like a gradient glitter and I think that that is very helpful to my nails growing out but they stay and I feel like that's just very valuable to me in this time of my life is I don't really want to do anything with my nails I am, I think, going to start going to get pedicures, though, because my feet, they be rough sometimes. But that, pedicures are just so easy, because you could get them, like, once every, like, s I feel like I probably could do every two months, so get, like, six a year. That is not a commitment at all, especially when I'm doing things like my eyelashes six times a year. That feels like nothing. But I feel like my eyelashes have definitely given me a teeny, tiny confidence boost in my everyday life not that I need it like as far as like if you told me I couldn't get my eyelashes done anymore tomorrow I wouldn't be really pressed about it but I feel like I just feel better about myself whenever they're done because I feel like it gives me like a makeup look without having to do makeup because a lot of the times I really don't want to do makeup but the upkeep on them they are grueling and it's hard to be like with nails I'd be like yeah I don't want to feel like going to get my nails done Eyelashes, you really can't do that, or you're kind of messing with yourself for the future. So, I feel like I haven't had this long to talk and to plan with me. But, you want to know what my recent, like, kick is? I feel like I go through kicks. For a while there, I didn't. Like, I feel like I was a hobby hopper prior to planning. In the beginning of planning, I still was. Like, I did some scrapbooking, did some crafting, did all the things. And then I feel like I had kids, and I was like, I'm tired and busy. So I haven't had a hobby in a minute. So I was like super into wax. I still am, obviously. <laughs> I love wax. It's my fave fave. Don't those. And um, I feel like that was like a real two year intense, like a year and a half intense run. But I still, like I said, I'm still obsessed with wax. But I then got into reading, which again, still obsessed with reading. I am currently reading, I read like, I think like 70 pages last night of Akatar, the first one. I don't really know. Um, thoughts so far. I'm on page, I'm, on, I'm basically almost halfway through. And I like it. I just think that once I, I know that there's like intense smut from what I've heard the internet say. So I'm not like going to be excited about that. But from what I read so far, I like don't hate it. I feel like... I kind of wish it was a movie because I just want to kind of sit there and just like watch it all because I really like the fantasy elements of it and the um, kind of the, I don't really know, like the plot, I guess, of what's going on with that and like the, like kind of like the blight and stuff. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know how to pronounce basically anything in these books. That's the other thing. All the names. Oh, well, I hope there's no pop quiz at the end because I will fail. But I've been enjoying that and have been reading, I think, how many books have I read this year? I, graphic novels and audiobooks make my, makes my book reading quite easy to obtain my goals. So I'm currently reading two 
I'm reading A Court of Thorns and Roses. I'm 41%. And then How to American an Immigrant Story. An An Immigrant's Guide to Dishonoring Your Parents, which is 83. It's Jimmy O. Yang. I love him. I feel like I love him even more from listening to this. Um, but this is Goodreads if you don't know. But I am I'm three books in. So once I finish these two, which I should definitely finish this month, probably even plus, I'm probably gonna read a graphic novel just to really even that out. Um, so I should be able to get to like six by the end of the month. My goal for the year is 50, so I'm like on my goal. But yeah, so reading has been another hobby. And then recently, I feel like since Christmas, like fake Christmas, so the 26th. Oh my god, I love this. It's so pretty. Somebody remind me to do black ones of these because it's going to be so cute. But I, I guess I should put them in the same listing with like in the description that they'll be glossy. And then if y'all like them, I'll just have them printed on the like manufactured printed stuff. Mm. They're crooked though. Um, but then my newest hobby has been board games, which I've always, I've always liked board games. I just don't feel like I ever had, not necessarily the time, but like, I feel like the board games that I knew weren't really good with two people. So me and Nick basically always have just played Blockus and Monopoly Deal. And I didn't even really know that there was that many other options, um, But I don't remember even what game. I think Hannah and Chris, well, I don't don't remember what it was. I think it might have been Lila's birthday or something. But Chris was, like, wanting to play a game. And all I have really are party games and then a couple other games. And he was like, eh. And I'm like, well, I told Hannah, I was like, have Chris for Christmas whenever you all come over. Bring, like, a game he, like, wants to play. Um, And we'll play it. We'll try it out. Because he was like, I want more, like, a complicated game. These are all like party games. So it's like, okay, I'll try. I'll, I'm like gonna, I think that was a part of my New Year's resolution was to kind of try m- new things. And I feel like I did a pretty good job of it. And that's how I ended up with all these stinking hobbies. Um, what game did they bring over? They brought over Here to Slay, which isn't like a complicated game necessarily. <clears throat> oh, and they also brought over this game called Spectrum, which it was fine. It's not my favorite. I wouldn't like pick to play it, but Here to Slay we love it in this family. Almost causes a divorce once. Like, literally. It was a, a big old argument. But that's what happens with board games sometimes. Whenever it's like a, like, screw you kind of board game. But it's all in fun. So let's put down these. But we played that. And then we're like, wait, we need like a game night. So then we had another game night and another game night. And now we're on a weekly schedule for a game night. And I have, like, just fallen in love with board games and I found like there's a whole community out there and I recently in the vlog that I edited yesterday but it was like two weeks ago I cleaned out all of my board games to like make room for the new get rid of the ones I have literally no interest in playing and um kind of like prioritize the ones that I haven't played to see if I want to keep them I've ordered a bazillion board games. I want to do a couple of board game videos because I feel like I have thoughts that, especially as somebody who doesn't, I feel like a lot of the board game content is very like lingo-y. Like it's hard for a beginner like moi to kind of understand. So I want to do like a board game video as far as like my favorite ones for as somebody who's like new. Oops, this ripped. I don't know if I'll need it, so I'm just going to hold it. But yeah, I've just been obsessed with board games. It's like my new personality trait, basically, at this point. We are going board game shopping today, actually. We were going to do it next week, but I was like, wait, we could do it today. So I am very pumped. I might be able to use this here. But there's just so many good ones. My current favorite, but that's my, th- these are my new hobbies. And I just feel like I am vibing with these new hobbies that I have. And my old ones, obviously, planning, wax has been kind of a long time fave, but they aren't going anywhere. Just feel like I have, I'm just, like, enjoying life to the fullest now with all of my different things going on. But we've played, like, a lot of different games. I'm gonna, I might even do, like, a video that's, like, um, 
Well, I'm going to do a, like, what I played in January. I think me and Hannah are both going to do one. Which, ours will be the same but different because I do play games with just Nick. And I also play solo games quite a bit. I think I have, like, 28 plays this month and it's only halfway through the month. And a lot of them are solo plays, which I didn't even know solo, like, board games were a thing. But I'm obsessed with them. Me and Nick's, like, board game types are a little different so he's not like super into a lot of the games that I've found to be my favorites my favorites right now are parks which I feel like everyone likes parks for the most part like it's not anyone's like top favorite ever but everyone likes him except for Nick's like he goes back and forth Nick's very much so if he's winning he likes something but if he's losing he hates it <laughs> which is fine but also like that's just we have different skill sets I feel so he's not going to love everything that I love um but I'm pretty easy to please I feel like for the most part but like I said my favorite ones right now is parks I love every everything from Keymaster. I just feel like everything's just such a vibe just look up key master and it's it's the like prettiest board game selection you'll ever find I feel like i've looked at a lot of board games recently and those are the prettiest and then also tiny towns is another one of my favorites currently i think it's so fun um let's put that there this looks so pretty and this, it looks like it always looks like a lot until you start putting stuff down and then you're like oh, okay this doesn't look so wild so then i don't need any of this currently i don't know why i even have that i guess i don't need the baby's second christmas in hollow because there's no more babies coming out of me then i have doodles i have all this i think that that is the lot of it i'm like i'm not doing a sidebar so i don't need that i have a bunch of quotes i don't have sidebars so i'm probably not going to use any of these Merry Christmas. That might be cute to put on there. We might hold that. These would be used for mini icons. So then this is what I have. So I like the baby's second Christmas, but I feel like kind of negates from my other children. But I feel like I could put that on there. But again, I just feel like I have three other babies. So I don't know if I want to put baby's second Christmas on here. I feel like baby's first is fine, but I don't know. Happy holly holidays. Merry Christmas. Let's get Jolly Mama Claus. Oh, what fun. Tis a season magical mini. Um, I think honestly. I might. I don't know. I might just stick to Merry Christmas on the bottom of here with like the double box situation. I don't have one on here, but we're just gonna make one. Ooh, wait. Nah, I'm like, do I want to pull out like a stroke? I think I'm just gonna passy pass on that but I like the twinkle with this because I feel like it reminds me of like string lights but I also feel like twinkles so diverse that it you could use it basically with anything I need to remember to clean my scissors because they have like gunk on them from like cutting different things like packages and I need to like undo them with a paper towel and then they will be less gunky so I'm gonna do that and like I said, I think I'm just going to stick to just the Merry Christmas. Because I feel like... I do like this. I just feel like this is not This is giving me very, like, cute retro. And this is giving me more... Like, these. And then between these two, I think this is giving me more this. Which is, like... This looks a little bit more, like, fun. And this looks a little bit more... Um, not sophisticated but kind of sophisticated so i'm just gonna plop this down on here because this is christmas okay i like that and then as far as these go i think i'm gonna do one of these here hope y'all had a good christmas and all your holidays any which you celebrate let's see <clears throat> Hmm. mine could have been a little bit better but also could have been a lot worse so we gotta pick and choose i think it's just for me it was a little sad because of how much i love christmas 
so i just feel like i look forward to christmas all year round it was kind of a little bit of a bummer to be sick for it but like i said it could have been better it could have been worse so we gotta count our blessings i don't think i want this here another thing is i try and split these up so like this is the same one so it's different than this one so that's nice but i feel like i don't want the same one but then also i guess yeah so we're just gonna take this one which i feel like works out better because there's more space up here again i don't really think it actually matters it just matters in my brain and then i'm gonna do this one I have overlays so why not slap them on down this one and we're definitely gonna do glitter header overlays just to add a pop of gold so yeah the loving board games I have like a list of ones I would like to get today I actually need a lot of glitter headers I need an extra three more than normal we have a list and and Hannah decided that January is going to be our crazy month we're buying whenever we want and then in February we're just going to stick to buying like one a month because we know that we have addictive personality types and we will buy all the things like we did with books so we're on a book no ban until April 1st and then starting February I'm only allowed to buy one board game a month for now until I maybe it's gonna be like until I've played all of the ones that I have which I feel like won't be too hard because I try and buy well, mostly solo or like can be played solo games unless I see something and I always watch um like how to plays prior to see if I actually like all the mechanisms in my games because I feel like some games look so cute and then I just don't like the mechanisms and then it's just like kind of a bummer and I wouldn't want to play it. And then there's also some games that don't look so cute, but the mechanisms just are so good that I'm just like, I need it, I need it, I need it. Like Wingspan, I don't really like birds too much. Like I don't hate birds, but birds are not my favorite, but Wingspan just looks so fun based on how you play. So it's on my list. I think I want to get Wingspan Asia though because it can be played two player and right now me and nick are like i told him like i'm not playing any games with you because i was so mad at him for here to slay but i think i'll probably let up on that because i need somebody to play with me there's this but regular wingspan i don't think can be played two player so there's that and then do i want to just put the deco on the top i have a headache and i think it's like i was up really early i like have I don't know. I feel like weird. I try. I feel weird because, um, save that. Sticky note. I feel weird because, like, I've been, like, sleep on, like, poop. So I have actually been sleeping through the night, which I haven't been doing for a really long time. Let's just do the deco. And maybe I'll just pause because I feel like I need to like figure out my life. I also need whole reinforcers. I feel like I haven't been like sleeping and then now I'm like sleeping all of a sudden and I feel like my whole brain hurts. What is that noise? Is that into my brain or is that my camera? Did y'all hear that? I mean, you're on you're on clip mic, so I don't think you'd heard it, but for when I do deco like this, which it has happened now, this is twice this year. Um, I just try and put down all the big pieces first, and then I'll go in and fill it in with smaller pieces. Let me just kind of put that in the corner. I think that that makes it kind of easier to place things. I feel like I used to do this a lot back in the day. I think like Jessica started doing this possibly. Um, I just feel like I went a different way. But now I'm kind of like maybe I want to use these header overlays. These date covers and start doing it more often. Because I think that the date covers just really 
do something for me. It's making me happy. And then like fill it in with, with a foil deco, which I think Jessica does currently. You're so cute. A lot of bigger pieces, but I feel like that works out that I don't have to put as many of the lower ones on. I actually feel like it's going to be like a perfect little fit here. It's probably just like the general surface area of deco is just a good fit. I'm going to like, there's this here, which is two presents. We're just going to cut her, make her work for us. So we're going to do one here, one here. And then maybe this little thing here. A little delicate bit. I have this little spot here. I use the other little delicate bit. Speaking of Jessica, I'm actually going to New York to see Jessica and my bestie Brie. That looks good. Alright, so we're done with that page. In March over st patrick's day weekend which i'm very excited about for no real reason not because it's st patrick's day but because i just picked a random week and that was it that was the one so i think i'm going to use the theater kit but i don't know what i want to go see yet i haven't bought anything i kind of want to see little shop of horrors because one i haven't seen it and two because mont apatow is in it and I love Euphoria, so I feel like that would be kind of cute. Um, but other than that, I think on the list of, like, maybes is Moulin Rouge and Six. Is it called Six? And and Juliet. But also Jessica told me that those are, like, they kind of take, like, modern pop songs and, like, incorporate those in, which I'm not sure how I feel. I feel like it would work for Moulin Rouge. I, th I think she, I don't think she said that about six, but, um, I don't know about Anne Juliet though, so I'm not sure what I want to go see. If you have a suggestion of something you think I like, my favorite Broadway show is Wicked, and I've seen it, like, a gazillion times, so Brie hasn't seen it, but because I probably won't be going to New York again this year, I don't personally want to see Wicked again, right now just because i want to see something that i is like new because what am i doing here is new because i won't be going for a while i wish beetlejuice was playing because i see beetlejuice again i feel like that was so good but i feel like the selection was kind of lackluster i'd like to see lion king again but i want to go see that again with like nick and the kidders so that probably won't be till there till lila's at least probably six and i i think even like wicked i don't know if i'm gonna see until the kids are bigger and we go do that i think that'd be fun be cool if they like traveled to austin because we have austin broadway but right now it's like i think it, there's like hairspray pretty woman the grinch was one of them um, I'm trying to think what else there was. Uh, Aladdin, Disney's Aladdin, which I did, I did see Aladdin on Broadway, and I don't really like it, so. But yeah, I don't know which one I want to see. I kind of probably should make a decision soonish. I really am leaning towards Little Shop of Horrors because, like I said, I haven't seen it or even seen, isn't it a movie? Question mark. But I'm leaning towards that, mostly because Mata Patel. Not that I really, like, love her, like, a lot. Like, I think she's probably like my sixth favorite character on euphoria maybe even like my seventh but i think that that would be kind of cool to do so i might do that but let me know if you have any other thoughts for me and that my friends is the base pretty happy with how it looks and i think i'm going to take a little break let my mind rest. I don't know if the rest of it will be sped up. I'll talk through it. I guess it'll just depend on the day. What time is it? Seven. Uh, okay. Be back in a minute. Okay. <clears throat> I just filmed my haul. This is late. I am filming this on the 20th. My plans for the day is to get this up. That is my only plans for this day. 
So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so let me reorganize my life. I reorganized my whole office yesterday. Ambitious? Yes. Why did I do it? I don't know. But I'm the kind of person that when I get something in my head, like work-related, non-work-related, I have to do it or I will explode, which I always make fun of Nick for that. But I think it's because like I obviously know better like whenever I can accommodate those feelings and also when I have to suppress them. So let's get into it. So I initially, like when I wrote down my plans, I planned on having a sidebar, which was going to be Merry Christmas and Worst Christmas Ever because the food poisoning. So Monday the 19th, I woke up and went to Starbucks, which is basically my morning routine. I get a 11 pumped iced chai. If you've never had it, you should, you should give it a go. Nick says it tastes like Christmas, which is fitting for this week, but also just fitting for my life. So... For that, we're going to do a little thing because that's normally what I do. Also, ignore my nails and my cuticles. But, like, let's talk about how these Dashing Diva nail stickers have lasted on my hands for that long. Like, they were pushed up against my cuticle. And they're all there. They all look kind of crazy when you actually look at them. So, just don't look at them. So, Starbucks. For Starbucks, let me grab some tweezers. This is just all regular gold, right? No sparkly. Yeah. They're sparkly red. Okay. Gotta get these. We gotta get this. These are my like end all be all tweezers. They're pretty rough and tough. I've had them for like a hundred years. So I'm just gonna use this little little thing here. And then for the Starbucks, I'm just gonna go into my scripts. I have these switched. Let's move them around. Okay. Into my scripts, which are just so beautifully organized. And I actually need to print off. I might actually, wait, did I just do that in a dream? I thought I had Kirsten print me Starbucks, but maybe I didn't have room and I'm going to do it next week. I thought I did. I wanted some more Starbucks like single lines because I keep using all the single line ones up, but I have a couple left. So we're just going to use this one. I'm probably just losing my mind. Or, uh, hmm. Yep, lose my mind. So this one, this one's not in the single line one. It's in like bigger one, but it still fits in the single line. Um, then I had a date with Lila and Nick. We went to Monument. So I think for that, instead of marking Monument, like writing Monument, I think I'm just going to do this. And then I'm going to do a little food. Um, I'll do a breakfast sticker and I'm going to do a little, this is my favorite one out of all of them. This is uh, 521 in the doodles and it's just this cute little like eggs and bacon but it looks to me like a smiley face and then with that I'm going to do a custom with NNL script um because I think that that is cute like it's great we went to monument but it was more about being with Nick and La then I just put in that I was hanging out with the family so for that, I think I'm going to use the brown and I'm going to use, actually use a pattern one. I like to, as often times as I can, I like to do like pattern solid, pattern solid. Sometimes I forget. A lot of the times I forget, but this new format is everything also, by the way. I feel like it's one of those things, the new format where you don't know what you got till it's gone. So whenever you use a kit in the old format, you're like, oh wow, the new format, it, it slaps as the kids say. So for just hanging out with the fam, I'm probably just going to use a like family sticker. I'm going to use one of the ones from Happy Daya. Anytime a kit has brown, I try and like to pull, I try and like to, I like to pull in the, um, like the little bears. Cause I think that they're so cute. I also need, I feel like for a while I was doing so good about pulling in uh, foiled scripts not so much recently so I'm just gonna pull in a family time script these are in the shop but I love the way especially whenever like another thing these are all random they're random and they're just me things but um I like to do try to if I'm doing like a foil icon I like to do non-foiled sometimes I'll do both but I feel like I don't really love the look of a foiled icon with foiled script next to it. 
Um, and then stuff like this where there's no foil, I make sure that that would be something that I take and put a little deco bit on. So I usually do that at the end and I just kind of like start on Monday and work my way down. But if it doesn't have any foil, I like to make sure that it has a little deco bit on it for a little shine. And then I usually go through and mark everything that has no foil on the like event. And then afterwards, if I have any left over, I'll go through and mark like, I'll be like, okay, this one, like I'll put like one over here to kind of balance it out. It's like a little art form over here, guys, a little art form. But yeah, if I, if I use the foil icon here, I might not likely put a foil here, but I'm trying to do a little bit more foiled scripts with my character stickers. So I think it looks really cute. Then I just hung out with Lila for a while. Um, this I recently switched to doing um, most of the like nighttime routine. Before I would just like hang out with Lila, but like now Lila's like involved in the nighttime routine. We don't split it. We used to split the nighttime routine up and do the boys first and Lila second, but now it's just a whole big thing. So now I mostly do the night routine. So for hanging out with Lila, I am going to use one of these once more with love, like little munchkins with the little baby bunny. And I think that that is so cute. And for this, I don't really have a ton. I think I'm going to do, I don't know. I need to get some more like scripts. I'm just going to do a little Lila script. I need more like with Lila's like things like that. I feel like I have a lot more with Theo's and stuff. I might move this munchkin over a little teeny bit. I thought I was going to do like a bigger script. Cute. And then for dinner, I had District 6, which has my favorite salad of the moment. I could probably move this over here because I probably won't use any more of it unless I watched a movie this week. So for District 6, I'm going to just use a red and how I pick what colors I use, I just kind of look and see what's around it. So I don't like putting the same color next to each other. Like even if it's a glitter header, I try to switch up the colors. So it's like balanced throughout the day. And obviously like the green, there was no green since here. The red, there's been no red since here. This is like a lot of this like same tone in the middle. Um, but yeah, so like it's just kind of like looking up and seeing what there, what there is above it. So for District 6, I'm just going to use a um, a little to-go bag because we we do like curbside for that. Um, so I'm going to use that. And then I do have a District 6 um, custom script that I made myself. If it wants to come off the sheet. There we go. Little District 6 there. I get the salad. It's so good. It has like pickled onions and ranch. Well, I pick ranch, but it has pickled onions on it as amazing and then this night we also finished Wednesday so for finishing it I think I'm gonna use a, um, a larger so normally when I mark TV shows I use a little thing but for finishing it I'm gonna put that in and then I have Wednesday stickers but I don't think that they'll really match the spread too much so I think I'm just gonna use a Netflix sticker because I think that that's also kind of more specific to Wednesday I'm going to move it over quite a bit because the Wednesday sticker is, like, the word Wednesday is a little bit longer. Is Lola waking up? I cannot tell. I don't know if Nick's home or not, but I don't think she's waking up quite yet. Then we have the Wednesday sticker for finishing Wednesday. Cute, cute, cute. Then on Tuesday, started the morning off with Starbucks. Again, we do this every morning. But I only mark it in if I'm like, oh, I have nothing else to put in, but I don't, like... I had nothing else to put in and like this is something that's very easy to put in because I just have all the stickers for it. So we're going to go ahead and stick in the foiled thing there and then I'm going to grab another Starbucks. I probably could take out the ones. I feel like if I didn't go to Starbucks every single day, I would probably use these like double liners. Let me show you what I'm talking about. If I only went to Starbucks like once a week because I would want a market picker, but because I do Starbucks every day, I just am like, eh using that one like I said that's the bigger one so these are smaller and then these are a little bit bigger these were more intended for fancy labels but realistically I don't know if you ever noticed let me grab you a fancy label to look let me see is there one that I'm going to use next sure 
So let's do this one. You ever notice the space for the fancy label is just a smidge bigger writing space. It's not that much bigger, actually. So I'm going to stick that in. And then let me just stick in the next thing just so I know that I have enough room. I really love rounded boxes. <clears throat> so the color, this is brown. So I probably won't use brown, so I'm probably going to use red. Yeah, that's perfect. I just love the different size options. And I love the rounded boxes. This is my favorite page. My favorite page. Because I love, like, the corner. You get just a little bit extra of that pattern in the background. It's just so cute. So, first things first is Target with Nick and Lila. So, I'm going to do the Target bag from the Doodle Sampler. And then I'm also just gonna do the with Nick and Lila because we already have like Target marked. It's more about the with Nick and Lila. And then we had to pick up Theo because he was sick and it was so annoying. So they called us and it always is nerve wracking getting a phone call. Um, I'm gonna use one of these teddy bears from Once More Love. It's always nerve wracking getting a phone call. But they were like, yeah, we think he has hand, foot, mouth. And I was like, oh, no. I've had hand, foot, mouth from Bennett. And I was, like, not excited. And then I'm like, they're all going to get it. It's going to be a thing. Where is my script thing for this week? Okay. Um, so I pick him up. I go pick him up because I'm, like, frazzled. And I go, and I'm like, this doesn't look like hand, foot, mouth. Like, Bennett's had it. Like, I was like, it doesn't look like hand, foot, mouth. I'm like... When did it happen? And they were like, oh, like after lunch, it came on suddenly. And I'm like, it looks like not hand, foot, mouth. And they're like, we don't know, but like you have to take him home if you want. So they didn't, they, they had school this day, but then didn't have this day. They're like, if they want him to come back this day, you have to take him to the doctor and get a doctor's note. And I'm like, seems like a lot of trouble when it, this does not look like hand, foot, mouth, but I like understand. But at the same time, I was like, I'm not going to take like, so we went home and Nick was like, yeah, it doesn't look like hand, foot, mouth. He just had like a rash around his mouth. I was like, you know what it looks like, Nick? It looks like what Bennett used to get whenever he'd eat ranch dressing and he would get it on his face and we wouldn't wipe it up immediately. And he's like, oh my God, it does. And then I sent pictures to Mark's sister, who's a doctor. And she's like, she said, yeah, it looks like allergic reaction. It doesn't look like half a mouth. Um, I'm just like, I get it. At school, it's like the teachers are like better safe than sorry. But I was like, yeah, it's not half a mouth. And then the next day it was gone. Nick, I wasn't going to take him to the doctor this day to like send him this day. So he just stayed home. Um, but Nick took Bennett in and then asked what he had for, what Theo had for lunch. And it, he had a salad with ranch dressing was like the side. And I was like, yep, just the ranch dressing. So it was completely gone. No other symptoms, never came back. So yeah, the ranch. My kids are just very sensitive. They're also allergic to like thing, like a bunch of stuff. So that's just the way that it goes. Then I made puppy chow this day, honestly, but also we're just a big old thankful that there was no hand foot mouth in my house because that would have been rough and tough. So this day I made puppy chow for the first time. I always bought it, um, but Kirsten was like, you know, you could just make it and it's like really easy. Like Brian makes it. Oh, I should use the little like stand mixer i didn't use a stand mixer but i don't feel like any of the other ones kind of make as much sense we're gonna use this because i also want to use some of these stickers so this is 640 642 and then i also have my like custom but you could get these in like any of the regular six um this is uh 21 is the santa hat 23 is the string lights and then 22 is the presents if you want to pick any of those up i don't need this one anymore um I'm going to use some of those too. Um, but I, like I said, I made puppy chow this day and it was really, really good. Really, really easy. Um, like Kirsten said, she was right. Um, and it made a lot. So puppy chow. And then I made chicken noodle soup and my in-laws came over. I am a chicken noodle soup addict and I have no shame in saying it. I just love chicken noodle soup. So for that, I'm just going to do, um, hmm. I don't know. I need like a better, I actually have a soup, a new soup doodle coming. Do I have any soups? I don't feel like I do. Food. Where is my ruler? There she is. Let's see. Do I have a soup? Oh, I have a soup. 
we'll use this for now. It looks more like one of my, my butternut squash soup. I also recently, I don't know if I like Nick marked it in like my plans, <laughs> but I tried, I recently got an immersion blender. It was after this, I got it for Christmas and I tried butternut squash soup. I tried like a blended roasted, uh, I would say celery, roasted cauliflower soup. And then I also tried just like throwing a bunch of vegetables, which were mostly carrots into a soup and then immersion blendering it. And I didn't really love the cauliflower one. Next one. I didn't really love the cauliflower one, but I did like the um, butternut squash soup, and it really wasn't. Do I have an in-laws over? I don't think I do. Visit the in-laws in gold. I'm looking. No. Um, in-laws over. I like the butternut squash soup probably the most. I did like the carrot one quite a bit, but the cauliflower one was not good. I didn't like it. I didn't save it. Um, so my in-laws came over, I made chicken noodle soup, and then in the evening, in the evening it's kind of like, do I hang out with Nick, or do I do something else, do I read, do I do whatever, this night I worked, because I was behind, now I'm ahead, but I was behind, so I'm going to use the little green, um, computer sticker for that, so I worked in bed, so for that, did I make a script? Hmm, work in bed. I think I'm just gonna use a work sticker, question mark. Yeah, so let's just use a work because if it was that like late in the day, we're knowing that it's probably gonna be in bed. On Wednesday, I went to work and I've been liking, oh, I went to work and then I took packages and I got Cabo Bobs. So I think I'm gonna do, I've been liking doing these, but I think I'm gonna do one of these for work just cause it's gonna be like a bigger area. And I think I'm gonna use the brown just because I have a green there and that'd be like my top option. But we're just going to use the brown sticker. I'm just going to stick this in here. And then I think for work, I'm going to use the like me with the string lights. Which like I said, you could get this in the regular hair combos. I just have like the split hair because like I have two different hair colors. And I'm going to do the work scripts. I went to work this day. I don't remember what I did. My, I don't think I just took packages. I think I did some other things too. And then underneath it, I'm going to do some little things for the P.O. Drop. Stole that phrase from Kirsten. I don't know if she like invented it, but I stole it from her. And then I am going to do a, another little thing for picking up Cabo Bob's, which Cabo Bob's is like a burrito place. So very yum. So for the PO drop, I think I'm going to use a little like Christmassy little thing icon. These are from my shop. And then for the Cabo Bobs, I think I'm going to use a mm, probably the little like shopping bag. But I also think that this looks kind of like a to-go bag. So I have a PO drop on my little sheet of customs for the week. And then for the Cabo Bobs, I think I also have a custom in here for that. Yes, I do. Cabo Bobs. So perfect. Then down here on Wednesday, I put in cuddle Theo because obviously he was home this day and he is such a cuddly kiddo. And uh, let's see. Hmm. What do I want to use for that? A rounded box because, you know, I love them. Rounded box for that. I also made Christmas crack this day, which was so funny because... Um, Nick was, like, so into it that he, like, went out and bought saltines. I did vlog all of this, and he, like, got a vlog clip of, like, there being, like, a low stock on crackers. So I feel like everyone was probably making Christmas crack. Christmas crack was so easy to make, especially if you don't melt the chocolate and pour it on. And instead, you just, like, after you heat up the um, saltines with, like, the goop on it, like, the buttery stuff, 
you just put the chocolate chips on top after you bake it and then the chocolate chips melt and after five minutes you just smear it around. I feel like that's such a good idea versus making the chocolate and dumping it and trying to like move it around. Um, but for cuddling Theo, I do have um, these like once more with love, like some more bear stickers because Theo just reminds me of a little bear. He's so cute. And then I'm going to grab, I think I have more, the a bigger selection of Theo. Yeah. Cuddle with boys, playtime with Theo. Theo cuddles, will that fit? Yeah. This is from Randy.Plans. I think I have a coupon. I don't know if it's still active, but I'll link it down below. Theo cuddles. And then, uh, like I said, I made Christmas crack. So for that, I'm going to use, I think the... And I don't want to use the mixer again. Maybe I'll use the oven mitt. The mixer oven. I don't think I use the mixer for that though either. Um, for Christmas crack, you can just look up what that is. It's very, very easy. Did I not make a... Yeah, Xmas crack. Okay. And then um, on the bottom, I was up this night with like... Kind of like belly gas, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how else to, how else to put that for you. And we're going to do another one of these little mini icons from a shop on there. So cute. Then on Thursday, we got Burger King for breakfast. And Starbucks. We're going to put in Burger King, though, because it's, it's something different. So for that, I'm going to use the i'll just use the little let's do a heart do i have a burger king sticker i actually don't know if i do so i might actually just have to put in i might have to put in um do i not just kidding i have a burger king sticker founder Burger King breakfast is so good. And I've always said that my Burger King is like amazing. Like they just have their stuff down and they're amazing. I actually wish I made that bigger because kids at in-laws worked in office. Um, oh, I could do kids at in-laws and worked at office separately. We could do that. So let's do a rounded box because again, I'm obsessed. So kids at in-laws and then worked in office. I can use this one. <clears throat> so kids at in-laws, so we're gonna want something with two kids. Ooh, we'll do these more bears. Or maybe I'll do the kids at in-laws, this bigger one. And we'll do an at in-laws. So where is my in-laws stickers? Oh, actually, I have foiled ones for this one, I think I said. Visit with in-laws. This is from Hannah. This is like her old format sticker sheet. She old. Visit with the in-laws. And then for working, I'm going to do the laptop. I just worked in my office all day. So the laptop with the work script from the foil bundle. Then if we move it down, I went to the in-laws and we had soup. It was like not great, but not horrible. It was a weird soup. I don't remember what it was, but it was like, I don't know, I think what was in it even. I think it was like an Olive Garden copycat for some reason. I don't know. But I'm going to use a solid label for that. For soup at the in-laws. And then afterwards, we went to McDonald's. We got McDonald's later because the soup was just not, not hitting right. So let's do... How do I want to do this? I'm trying to think of what else. I'm going to watch that. One. Okay, so I'm going to do McDonald's in a bigger... Oopsies. Oh, that came up. All right. McDonald's. And then we binge watch diners, drive ins, and dives. So I think for that, oh, I wish I had a Guy Fieri sticker. 
It's on my list of to-dos. Um, I'm still going to use this. So, one, two, three. So, I'm going to do that. <gasps> it's so cute! So, for the soup, I think I'm going to do... I'm going to do a family sticker, and I'm just going to do the grandparents. And I'm just going to cut them. I cut the grandparents. Did I put that on the wrong side, then? Yep. All right, so let's see what in-laws stickers I have. I'll just do in-laws house. Mm, yeah, let's just do a non-foiled non at in-laws. Yeah, I know if it. Cause then it's like foiled and non-foiled above it. And this one's smaller, I think the other one wouldn't have fit. That's cute, I like it. And then McDonald's. Where are my McDonald's stickers? Foods fast. Normally I just use like a little icon, but I'm gonna get to use like, ooh, let's see. What do I wanna use? There's so many options. Hold on, let me pull out. Where's my, I can't ever find my ruler. Oh, there it is, cause it's clear. It's like always missing. Do, do, do. Let's do the McDonald's bag. In the red maybe, or is there like, Happy Meal? Happy Meal in red would be cute. And then McDonald's, let's see. McDonald's. And then we watch Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. So I think I'm gonna use the little TV. For diners, drive-ins, and dives. That is cute. We love it. Then on Friday, Christmas Eve Eve, we went to Holy Bagel as a family. Bennett loves Holy Bagel. He gets so excited. It's like Christmas whenever he gets Holy Bagel. So we went to Holy Bagel. Bennett was doing Bennett's been doing this weird thing where he lies. I don't know, lying is like it's just like I don't know why he all of a sudden started lying. It's about dumb stuff too. And it's annoying. He hasn't actually lied in, since he had like a like a one week lying spree. I don't just don't know if he didn't get that he wasn't supposed to lie. I'm not sure. Uh, let's do a rounded box thing will fit there. But he was just lying about dumb stuff and it was getting really annoying. So and actually lying's kind of hard to explain to a kid, like why they shouldn't be doing it. And like what like what a lie is is like actually kind of hard to explain. So we had Holy Bagel, which is our fave as a fam. So for that, I'm gonna use what I found. I was going through and decluttering. I did it off camera. I didn't do it on camera just because I was like in the mood to do the things. So we're gonna do that. I need to get some more scripts from Hannah, like foiled ones. And I feel like. She would foil ones like that I do. I could just like make them and send them to her. Because she always says, that makes my life easier. Okay, I might do that because I need some scripts and foil. Because I feel like this year, last year I had like a a love for, um for what are they called? I had a love for black scripts. And then I feel like this year I just want to go back to using more like foiled scripts. I don't know. I just want things to be more foiled this year. I'm in a, I'm in a shiny mood. So we're going to do holy bagel. I love this sticker because it has the bagels, which we usually get two and me and Nick split one, the kids split one, and then a drink from like Starbucks in my head. Um, but then for Bennett lying, I don't really know what to use. I'll choose the hugging because it's still like it's just like a learning oh wait no i'm using it on a little thing now uh, 
we'll just save this. We'll just do a little Christmas icon. Let me get light. And then we'll do this. And then uh, we had a play date with the neighbors. I think I'll just use this sticker just because I have it out. It's like me and Bennett as little munchkins. And then for the neighbors being over it, I'll put the play date in. Underneath it. Um, Hannah came over this day so we could watch the Polar Express. I'm going to grab this first for the Polar Express. Hannah came over and we had pierogies for dinner, which is very us. We just love the pierogies. I need a pierogies, um, a pierogi, uh, what are they called? Doodle. Somebody remind me because I'm going to need one. Pierogies and what else did I say I need? Oh, I already, I already have the soup coming. I want like another soup option. All right, so let's put that in. So Hannah came over. So for that, I'm going to use from the Friends stickers. I actually, I printed off one of these for me. These will be coming um, in all the different hair colors, but this is like on her. So these are just like in random orders. I don't know. I don't think that these are going out yet, but I feel like we're pretty close. Like within the next month, these will be going out with orders. And this was the what, like the little like custom um action i guess that hers is doing hers is actually blonde with brown hair and this is also blonde with brown hair so this is like a custom sheet but i got these to mark hannah things too because it's just very hannah um but i'm just gonna use the me and hannah sticker for hannah being over and then for pierogies i'm just going to do the little heart or I'll, i already used the heart so i'll do the star sure and then for the Polar Express, I'm going to use a Santa hat, Andrea, I think, for the Polar Express, which somehow I've never watched before, but somehow watched two times in 24 hours. I've, I've seen like parts of it, not really like a lot. Um, I don't think I'd, I'd only watch it if the kids want to watch it, which Bennett wanted to watch it again the next day, which is just tragic. Um, but I didn't really like it. It was like fine. Um, and I was most of the time I was just like, what is going on? It's just like some of it just seems like a fever dream. I don't know. Um, and then for Hannah over, I have ooh, another thing that I feel like I should have like core foils in the colors. Oh, I had like. I was going to pull in a custom sampler thing, but I forgot. Oh, I have with Hannah and gold. Cool. But yeah, when I watch it again, it's one of Hannah's faves. Um, so I took the L on it. But yeah, now I've watched the Polar Express twice in 24 hours. Um, then on the 24th, oh, I could have used this here. Maybe I'll just pull it up because... I don't think it would do any damage. Yeah. Oh, like these ones don't like do even less damage than the gloss. It was okay. So for this one's a play date. Let's do. Another teddy bear. We're really uh, dipping into my collection of teddy bears. So for here. In the morning, me and Bennett went to Starbucks. I feel like that's the perfect excuse to use this Bennett sticker. And let's see. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. I'm trying to think how I want to do this. I'm going to do all fancy labels. I might want to run out of fancy labels, though. So we'll do one as this okay so let's do this here and then let's do a rounded box up top and then in the middle we'll do a fancy label we'll do a pattern one the green i don't know how much left fancy label wise oh, i feel like i could go a little bit bigger I don't want to use the pattern ones, but I only have a solid. 
I guess we could use that. All right, let's do that. Okay, so now that my thoughts are over, we're going to do this for Starbucks with Bennett. Could have trimmed it. Don't feel like it, though. And maybe I'll do one of these. Like I said, I didn't ever use these, but let's just use one here because I have a little more space. Starbucks run. And then um, we opened gifts from Brie this day. Brie sent over presents, one of them being Play-Doh. So for that, I'm going to use the Play-Doh sticker. Um, I'm going to use like a yellow because I feel like it kind of matches the like gold nude tones. So one of them was Play-Doh, which was the one that like they all wanted to play with the most. Well, like the boys, obviously, Lila's not playing with Play-Doh. So we'll do open or Brie. Do I have Brie, Brie gifts? It's pretty cool. That was on Bennett's um, wish list. Um, it's like a vacuum cleaner for Play-Doh, which I think is kind of funny. So Brie gifts. And then this day, I need a Psy Eye sticker. Because I'm pretty sure that this was what the... Um, problem was so i'm gonna use a middle finger sticker the salad this is the only thing that i ate that no one else ate so this was the salad i we get our ham from i don't remember even what the place is called now we've got it there a bazillion times our ham from i don't know if it's honey ham co or something like that or texas austin honey ham i don't know but i got the salad and i was the only one who ate it and, like, in the days prior, like, there was nothing else that I ate that somebody else didn't eat. And I'm pretty sure I had food, food poisoning because of the way that the... Oh, I have 10 minutes to finish. So, we're going to speed round it. Okay. So, so the salad. And then I made applesauce pie and messed up multiple times, which is just... I hate... Um, I'm not going to do that next to each other because it's going to drive me nuts. I hate baking. GBH. <laughs> I just hate it. This is my last pattern fancy label. I don't know if I'll be able to do this in 10 minutes, but we will see. So we're going to do this. And then I watched Polar Express and Cuddled Bennett. And then afterwards, let's do the red. Um, Because I only have red, green, and brown left. Oh, it's brown and brown next to each other. Ugh. I have a one on my hand this one on reserve she was waiting for me okay so i made applesauce pie but messed it up so for that i'm just going to use one of these and then i fixed it i obviously had to just took forever so i'm going to do apples apple s pie applesauce pie and then afterwards i watched polar express again but with bennett so for that i am going to use um i'm going to use one of these candles to mark watching the polar express with bennett i could use a me and bennett sticker here too but we already did that above there was two there was i was like oh there's not gonna be an opportunity and then there's too many opportunities to use a me and bennett sticker so polar express again because he wanted to watch it and then we went to the in-laws and exchanged gifts so for that i'm just going to put a pile of presents from that doodle sheet with the um i guess the open gifts question mark sticker that was my in-laws. Then afterwards, I put in that Lila was cuddling me. It was so cute. I put her to bed this night and she was like, um, well, actually I gave her like, we called it the preliminary bottle, which is like the bottle before the, the nighttime bottle. Um, she doesn't get them anymore though. This was like the ending of the era. And she was like drinking her bottle and she was like rubbing my leg and it was the cutest thing ever. I don't know why, but she was just like, in her zone just like she's a big touchy feely kind of gal all my kids are and it was just the cutest thing in the whole world so i'm going to put in um i don't think i put like a sticker for this because i was just going to do like a lila cuddles have one from hannah probably not gonna be able to finish this um then we built bikes this night so for that i am going to just do a little thing and a little sticker little foiled sticker for built bikes 
and then afterwards Nick and I open our gifts. It's like a tradition of ours to open presents the night before. I'm trying to think of what I want to use. What kind of space I got. I think I'm just going to use this. Yeah. Um, before birthdays, before Valentine's, but like before anything, we do it the night before. So we're going to stick that on there and then gifts with Nick, which was so sweet. He did a great job. We only started doing presents to each other like very recently. So gifts with Nick. And then if we move on, I'm actually probably just going to pause because I'll finish this later. This is going to be up late, but I don't think y'all care too much. So we'll finish this in a little bit, but for you, it'll be in a jiffy. Okay, Lila's currently distracted by the TV, so you might hear some cocoa melon in the background. If it's, like, really loud, I'll probably just speed this up anyways, but we will see. It's also kind of a test to see, like, how much you can actually hear. But like I said, you might not even hear me. This might be sped up. So on Sunday, I put in that Theo had a rough night. Um, so let's just use this fancy label. Um... So Theo had a rough night. I had to give him a bath. And then Theo slept with us because he was just having really bad tummy problems. Let me see like how I how big the customs are for these. So um let's see. Actually, I'm gonna do how do I wanna do this? Um I might just do it the opposite way. Actually, hold on. <clears throat> let's do the little thing and then this one and then afterwards was that my food poisoning started my stomach started to kind of toss and turn not feel so great <laughs> um let's put this in let me move everything up just a smidge to get some even gap here i don't know if i'll continue with the talk through i feel like it's just so much more convenient to do a voiceover because i can like plan like without talking and i feel like i mess up just a smidge less a smidge not a lot just a smidge um i'm gonna use let's see i'm just gonna do the uh eye mask for theo having a sad night a bad belly night he was fine then it just was like not a it was like a bad belly um then theo slept with us which was super interesting so let's do that he's like the cuddliest cuddler ever so i'm just gonna put this in and then i'm gonna do a is there a cuddles on here i thought there was a cuddles oh cuddle here i'm like am i just missing it cuddle it's a little Theo sticker that's from Paper Muse Crafts. I don't know if she still has them up, but she might. I might. I probably need to get more of the little brunette sleeping boys. I think I'll have a couple left on that sheet. Then for my food poisoning, I'm just going to get, I think I've thrown up at this point, but I was starting to feel a sad belly. And then as soon as everyone left, I threw up. Um, I'm going to grab one of these. And then I'm going to grab a throw up one while I'm here. So for food poisoning, I'm going to put this one in. I really tried to be a trooper because I love um, Christmas. It's just my favorite holiday. And it was like, it's like what, it's like a lead up. You know what I mean? Like of like just making sure everything's perfect. And this day we did presents in the morning and I just wasn't feeling it. Like with the kids, obviously. And I was just like, I don't know, not feeling too great. I didn't have like a fever or anything or any other symptoms besides like the throwing up at this point. Well, later on, but I was just like, I don't know, I feel queasy. And I like was had this big like breakfast plan and the Krasinski's were coming over and I had all these like perfect ideas and like I just had this envisionment and it just did not go the way I planned, which was just very, very sad. So I was just fe not feeling well and then they came over and my in-laws came over and I just kind of like laid on the couch. I didn't eat. I didn't eat really anything this day and then we ended up like canceling all of our Christmas plans and moving like Christmas like day like evening plans to the next day and I still didn't even feel like I wasn't throwing up then 
I just like didn't feel fantastic, but I like ate a little bit the next day. Um, but this day I, like I said, we did the morning kind of situation with the kids and then we did, we did, um, trying to think of which way this is going to go. We did, so I'm marking it as Christmas and then the Krasinski's came over is going to be in this little boxy box there. And then I'm going to put in with, I think red, I don't have anything. I'm just going to put it with this, um, that we did presents with the kids. So for that, I think. I have like, I didn't even like really pull out Christmas stickers this year, which is kind of bizarre. So I think for the Christmas with the kids, I'm just going to do the present from here. So that's, oh wait, that's not, that's not, that's Christmas. I actually have, hold on, I'm going to pull them out for just this one sticker. So that's presents with the kids. I have like a whole Christmas album and I don't think I pulled out any Christmas stickers because I've just been pulling from like these doodles. Um, I have this one that I'm going to use. This is a custom from Teddy Plans Co. Um, they offer them for like Valentine's Day, Christmas, Halloween, regular, like plain old, like black and white kind of looking ones. I think I'm going to do that one for Christmas. I have this whole Christmas binder with so many doodles and like characters and stuff. But this year I just completely forgot that they existed. So, because I've had these two sheets sitting out. And then these, and I've just been using these throughout the Christmas season. So for it being Christmas, I just have a Merry Christmas script here. Um, just like on my little custom sheet, Merry Christmas with all of us. So cute, even though I don't know why I did all blondes, but it's whatever. Um, then for opening gifts, I don't even think I have an open gift script. I thought I did. I might have used it on the in-laws one and then didn't have one for here. So I'm just going to put in with my love and it could be for my with my loves when it has a present next to it. It works. And then for the Krasinski's coming over, I'm just going to use another one of those little icons. Where'd they go? I feel like, does anybody else do this? Because it's got to be just me. Oh, I don't know if y'all saw in my vlog. Okay, so I had this sheet of customs and I knew they existed but I couldn't find them and it was after I like kind of like cleaned up my desk and I had to like have Kirsten recut them for me because I like couldn't find them anywhere and then I found them yesterday so it was like a good like month plus after it was like behind my bookcase I can't wait to show you my office because I like completely redid it and it, I just love it and I'm like so excited to utilize it so I'm gonna do an office tour soon I want to get my shelves situated and then I'm gonna do an office tour because like I am obsessed so the Krasinski's came over we opened gifts, and then as soon as we were going to open gifts, I'm like, y'all, I love y'all so much. Thank you for coming. Thank you for the gifts. I hope you enjoyed yours, but I am going to bed. So I went to the bedroom, I threw up, and then I went to sleep, and I just continuously was either, like, sleeping, trying to sleep, throwing up, one or the other, basically the rest of the day. So, yeah, and that was it. It was just literally just throwing up, which was just not super fun, um, but we'll, we'll mark it in a cute way because, you know. So all we can do is just mark it a cute way in our planner. So that was basically my symptoms were this day I just threw up a lot. The next day my stomach kind of subsided and then it just for like three days it just came out the other end like it never has before. Like I never experienced anything like that. Um, but I mean I just definitely didn't prefer the throwing up. And then I found out about Pepto, Bismol, like they have like pill tablet things that you swallow and those save my life. If you're ever in the situation, get those. Not a doctor, but, but get them. Nick had them because he has, you know, issues with sometimes, you know, his belly hurts. So he got them as like a just in case. And I found them in the cabinet when I was like looking for something to like help with like the stomach poops the poops and we all poop it's, it's no big deal um and I found those and I was like come to mama I'm gonna try you what cannot hurt and they were perfect so they worked really well and then actually my mother-in-law had like the same thing going on like a week later like way farther away than it could have been from me at any way so like I don't know but also there was um Nick said in the Austin subreddit there was like a lot of threads about um RSV and like that being like a big symptom in adults 
So honestly, could have also maybe been RSV, but like I just don't think it would have been transmittable that like far, you know what I'm saying? Um, and my kids didn't have it. That's the only thing. Like I feel like RSV is like hecka crazy in kids. So I don't know. And then like, cause also then Hannah had kind of the similar things and she blames it on her salad that she had. Cause also I didn't see Hannah really that close to it either. Like, and it, hers was, I think even farther away, like two or three weeks after. So it was either food poisoning or something like going on, but I don't think it was something going on because nobody else had symptoms in my house. And I feel like if, um, I'm looking for my stickers. Um, if it was something that was transmittable, I feel like my kids would have gotten it because I didn't like stay away from my kids because I was just sure it was food poisoning. So yeah, not sure, but it was not fun. Um, and I blame the salad because again, that was the only thing that I ate that no one else ate. I thought there was a bath sticker on here. Did I already use it? Oh no, it's right here. I am blind bath. Um, actually no. Oh, no, just kidding. I don't want to use bath. I'm going to use nap because I just napped and like showered and napped and showered and napped and showered and napped and showered. So nap. Then on the 26th, which is actually on the next day, I don't actually need this because I don't need to do voiceover. So I can use that scrap paper. So on the next day, this was like Christmas do-over. So this day I felt better. Um, I didn't feel like 100% great. I didn't really eat anything the day before. So I think that that was a part of the problem. I think I was dehydrated. Um, basically, I threw up till like it was just I could didn't have anything else left to, to throw up. <clears throat> so this day, I cleaned up the living room from Christmas prior because Nick obviously just watched the kids while I was like incapacitated in the bedroom all day. I like hung out like around dinner time and like helped do nighttime routines. But other than that, I just was like out for the count. So I cleaned up the living room. So for cleaning up the living room, I think I'm just gonna use, I don't know. I need like a cleaning sticker on here. Let's just use the Santa Andrea because we're not gonna be able to use these for a while then. So we're using Santa Andrea for cleaning up the living room. So I'm just gonna use the clean sticker from the thing. Cause I'm trying to again, bring in some more shinies and that looks fits really cute. And then I just relaxed on the couch and chilled. So I think for that, I'm gonna use the Andrea present sticker. Might as well. So I'm gonna use sick for Christmas because I don't have a relax on the couch. I could have just did relax, but this was supposed to go on the sidebar, but I didn't have a sidebar. So I'm just gonna stick that in here because it's like the Christmas do over. Then we did, did gifts. Oh, so Hannah and Chris came over this day because we obviously rescheduled that because I was not feeling well and I didn't want to like have to, I just couldn't, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. So I, oh, I didn't even put in, I don't remember. One, two, three. Okay, I'm going to do one, two, three. Well, I was just watching Coco Melon playing with her toys. She's a good girl. All right, so we're going to put that one in. Oh, that's on a different day. Okay, I'm I'm on my next page, and I keep looking at Sunday, but really I'm looking at the 26th. Yeah, so that, that, that. Okay. Lila might be losing patience. I can't tell. We'll know when we know. So we're going to stick this in here. And then I am going to do this red squared out or rounded or no. Will this fit? Barely. So no. We're just going to use the rounded, which is probably my preference. Anyways, it's just a lot of red next to each other, but it's okay. So for this, for gifts, I think I'm just going to use... I'm going to use the Chris... Or there's a different gift pile. I used this one before, so I'm going to use this one in this spread. So that, I didn't, I, I might, oh, just kidding, just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. This would be on the next day. Okay. So open gifts. I'm like, why don't I have any of this? But it's because it's all in the next week. So open gifts. I had a lay on couch, but I don't think we're not going to use it because it's fine. So open gifts. 
Um, for dinner, Xmas dinner, I have a, I have a script for that. Which for that, I think I'm going to use the um, tree. We had um, ham, truffle mashed potatoes, sweet potatoes, which I never made. Sweet potatoes like the marshmallows, and that was really good. Green beans, um, rolls, stuffing, a cheese ball Hannah made, a gravy, this like pizza thing I made as like an appetizer. So we had Xmas dinner, and then we played this game called Spectrum. So for that, I'm just going to use... A, I'll use like just a little. I'm trying to use up some of these. So this little ball here. So we played Spectrum, which was fun. It wasn't my favorite game ever, but it was basically like rating things on a spectrum of like what you think. Oh, we have a lot of space here. I forgot about that. Okay, but not a lot of space because there is like things going on. I wanted to put that like Hannah and Chris came over, but also I think I'll remember based on like the the gaming. So I have a lot of room here. So actually, maybe I'll put that in. Maybe I'll move some things down. Let's move some things down. See what I can stick on in here. And my in-laws were over. So maybe I can move some things. So let's see. Let's put in two more things. So let's do um, my in-laws over. So let's do that. Let's do that with these. So let's do a green. and a open gifts would be next oh 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 we'll put this here uh we'll just just put hannah and chris came over we know my in-laws came over do that do this all right so then let's do a stocking question mark oh wrong way oh oh eh uh let's just do this so I think lesser of two evils is to put it here because this is like farther away than this is. This is separated by glitter header, lesser of two evils. So I don't, I thought I have a with Chris and Hannah question mark, but I don't know what that'd be under maybe with. And I know Hannah made it for me with C and H. Okay. I need a with a Zayus's. This just is, all right, let's, I think I'm just gonna stick it on here. Yeah, that is perfect. Then we played Spectrum, we played Monopoly Deal, and I won four times. We played Here to Slay, and then I was stuck on the toilet. So, how many things is that? That's one, two, three things for all this area. We can make it happen. So I think for, monopoly deal i'm gonna use something pattern because that's awesome so let's do the this nude because i don't have any really nude besides this and this let's do this for me winning monopoly deal four times and then for here to slay so i need to fit those in there so here to slay i think i made a custom for let me see what that custom looks like a whole little custom sheet of it because i have a feeling we're gonna play this Often, despite the fact that it almost caused divorce in this house. Here to slay. Let's do a, another pattern one because I just love patterns. And then for being stuck on the toilet, let's do, let's just do another pattern one. Let's go crazy. Let's do this one. Look at that, taking up all the space. Actually, I feel like the perfect combo of like sizes. So... For winning Monopoly deal four times, I think I'm going to use a, oh, I have the new one that just is coming out this week, but I have it. I made it and I needed it. So let's go to games and then I have me holding cards, which I think for me winning four times, little me holding cards is perfect. And then for Monopoly deal, I do have a script for that. I thought I had like a bigger one, but maybe, oh yeah, I do. I have two different Monopoly deals. We do love Monopoly deal. And we played games last night. We've played like a lot of games this month. And Nick was like, you know what? I still think Monopoly deal slaps the hardest. So Monopoly deal. And then we played Here to Slay, which Nick loved. So let's actually use a Nick sticker. And Nick also won. So let's use this little blonde, little scribbler there. And then the Here to Slay, I'm going to cut. 
Here to Slay is super fun. It's a card game. It's kind of like Unstable Unicorns if you've ever played it, but they add a like another mechanic to it, which is monsters. So you can either win by having all of the one of each of the classes of um like animals under one of the same class one of every class or you could win by having three dragons or i guess are they all dragons i'm pretty sure so yeah but they're by the same people at unstable games and it's so so fun um but yeah here to slay which nick loved and nick won and then for me being stuck on the toilet i'm pretty sure um emotion negative i have like poop stickers do i actually have ones that are on the toilet i do <laughs> don't want angry or sad i think sad these ones from once more with love are perfect for the occasion then it started just it, for the next two days it was just actually till wednesday i was just like on the toilet all the whole time so stuck on toilet perfect 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 we love it and that my friends is my spread for Christmas. I think it is so beautiful despite the sad times. Let me arrange all of my stuff that I've left over so I could give you a little flip through. So let's do all of these sticker sheets first and then I'll give you a little wiggle, a viv wiggle. You know, you know, viv, 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 viv wiggle with all the sticker sheets i ended up not using any of this red but i'll just save this for future spreads and then i only had a couple of these left i bought three of them because i knew i'd probably need extenders and then i like i said i used the script the date numbers from um what's it called the foil one i'll probably put these with my plan hannah extras just so that i have them and then as for the foil bundle, I had a couple of boxes and a couple of headers, one box on here, some icons and scripts left. Um, I finished, I didn't end up using these, which were in the advent and I'm going to be releasing these in the other ones. This would have been really cute if I would have did like a red, um, bougie box and then did the, or red like bougie underneath it or like something like red, uh, candy cane stripes or something opposite way. There's a lot. I didn't end up using these. I used all of these that I could. So I'm going to, I think somebody remind me, I want to do those in black and white. Didn't use those. Used one from there. Used all of this up. And then I didn't end up using any of these, but I'll save them for next year. Okay. Let me give you a quick little zoom through and then I'm going to go hang with La. So that my friends is everything. I think it turned out so stinking cute. I love it. And yeah, thank you for watching and I will talk to y'all in my next one. Bye.